Hey everyone, so this is a video idea that my friend Lance Neon gave me. I think I said his name right that time. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to test the lag on this Sony KD34XBR960 HD CRT. And the way we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the 240p test suite in an unconventional way. So what I did is I actually went over to this CRT. Yeah, cool trick, huh? <laughs> so this is the Sony PVM 2030, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, so I went over here, and you see I have the 64 plugged in. And I recorded this stopwatch from the NES 240p test suite. And so yeah, we'll be using this on the Nintendo Switch, because then I upload it to YouTube. So yeah, we'll be... Since the 240p test suite isn't on the Switch natively, uh, yeah, we'll be using YouTube. So anyway, let's uh, switch back to the HD CRT. Oh yeah, still got it. <laughs> so anyway, so the way I have this set up is let me show you here on the side. You can see I got the, the Switch over here. And then out of the Switch, let's go over to the other side. Okay, so then on this side you can see that uh, here is the switch's uh, HDMI cable coming into this 4K uh, HDMI splitter. Um, well, really, it's a duplicator because you can see it's powered. It doesn't work if it's not powered. But then I have one HDMI cable, which is this monster cable going directly into this HD CRT. And then the other one, you can see I have coming out here to an HDMI to VGA converter. And then I have this uh, VGA to VNC cable going into this Mitsubishi presentation monitor, which is just basically a 250-pound computer monitor, <laughs> CRT computer monitor. So yeah, and I have tested this TV, the lag, and yeah, it's uh, zero lag as expected for an analog uh, VGA monitor. But, uh, well, technically... RGB, HV, but yeah, it's the same as VGA. Oh, and I'll just show the back here just because I think this is fun. Yeah, I have it on this rolling cart, which makes it really convenient to get back here. But anyway, you can see the monster cable HDMI <clears throat> uh, going directly into this TV. So yeah, then let's look at the back of the uh, VGA or the <laughs> presentation monitor as well. Okay, yeah, so this is why I don't, I say that it's not, I mean, it is VGA, but you can see it breaks out the the sink and the RGB into separate BNC cables. So anyway, yeah. So yeah. All right. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'll leave Amazon links for this stuff that I'm using this equipment. And uh, I, I actually was looking for this splitter or duplicator that I have. I couldn't find this exact one. I don't know if they make this exact one, but I'll leave a link for another one that I think looks pretty good that looks like it does the exact same thing as this one. So anyway, yeah, check out the description for links for this equipment if you want to do this kind of uh, weird testing. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, let's uh, go ahead and turn on these, this monitor and the TV, and then, uh, yeah, we'll start the test. Okay, so first off, let me explain how I have these uh, TVs set up or how I have the switch set up. So I have it set in 720p mode because this TV, the highest resolution that it can handle is 1080i. However, the switch does not output 1080i natively. And I do have adapters for that, but I just want to plug, like I have adapters that can convert 1080p to 1080i, uh, but I just want to plug the switch basically directly into this TV. I mean, going through the duplicator, but after that, just directly into this TV. So. Anyway, 720p is uh, what the resolution we'll be using because this TV does accept 720p. So, yeah. And then this monitor also accepts 720p. Although I've noticed that sometimes 720p widescreen signal makes this monitor, makes the image go away for a second and then it comes back. But it seems like it's working pretty good right now. So anyway, that's the resolution we have. And then we're going to go in here to YouTube. Let me see. Let me change this so you can see this better there we go all right yeah, let's go into youtube here and i already have the video pulled up i'm going to rewind it 
Okay, and then this is actually important. Oh, it didn't, it just started. Okay, that's okay. So this is important though. So you're going to want to go, if you're going to use this, you're going to want to go into settings. And I've already switched it, but you're going to want to choose either 720p 60 frames or 1080p 60 frames. I'll just do 720p because, yeah, I'm switching 720p. But you want to do one of these 60 frames options. So I recorded this video in 1080p 60 FPS. And yeah, you want to do that because there are 60 frames in a second. So yeah, if you're doing a 30 second or a 30 um, FPS video, then it won't be an accurate uh, test. You'll, you'll be missing frames. It won't be, yeah, it just won't be accurate. Because as you can see here, so just the way this works, so this stopwatch, you can see it cycles through 60 frames every second. Um, so yeah, this number just moves really fast because it's 60. And yeah, so the way this is going to work is we know for certain that this monitor over here on the side has zero frames of lag. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to take my iPad here and I'm going to take a picture just because it's too hard to tell the difference because it's moving so fast. But with a picture, it catches an instant, like an instant uh, time capture like it captures that moment in history that <laughs> I don't know anyway basically it just like it just will show us if this TV is behind the monitor or probably not vice versa but yeah it will we'll just see how far behind the HD TV if at all it is uh, behind the monitor so anyway I think enough talking uh, let me go ahead and take some pictures and then I'll explain what the lag is Okay, so now I'm just filming this directly off my iPad. So yeah, these are some of the pictures that I took. So yeah, you can see here, that actually looks like so 39 frames on the zero lag analog monitor. And then also 39 on the HD CRT. So that's uh, actually pretty impressive. I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, so they both came up as 39 frames. Uh, however, the, the actual frame that's on is a little different. So you can see here it's still showing on seven where this one's ahead a little bit where it's you know has nine more illuminated so this one the analog one is still a little bit farther ahead but as far as actual frame count looks like it's the same on this first picture i took a bunch of pictures so we'll look at them so here's one that it's 30 and 29 okay so this one so the analog uh monitor is about a frame faster on this one but they are both on the eighth uh, mark on the stopwatch, so that's about the same. Okay, same one, they're both on four, but then this one's 44, almost 45, and then this one's 45. So, right now, what I'm thinking, since we've seen that they're almost the exact same, you can see this one's almost 45, this one is 45, and then even this one, they were the same frame. I'm gonna say that there's about a half a frame of lag, maybe. We'll kind of look at some of the, more of these numbers, but so far, it seems like it's about a half a frame. Uh, to one frame and see this one's one apart and so one frame here's one again so one frame is 60 or sorry one frame is 16 milliseconds and then there's 60 frames in a second so yeah so six milliseconds is almost instantaneous it's I mean sorry 16 milliseconds in one frame I hope I said that right yeah, 16 milliseconds is really hard to notice. It's almost instantaneous. And especially where we're seeing here where it's maybe even like half a frame, you know, where it seems like they're almost on the same a lot of times. Um, yeah, half a frame is 8 milliseconds. That's like really good. That's like some of the best like OLED TVs, you know, really fast TVs nowadays. You know, you're lucky if you get 8 uh, milliseconds of lag on those too. So anyway, you can just kind of scroll through these numbers. Now here's one that's interesting. This one says 48 compared to 50. So this is the first time we've seen it larger than one. Usually it's either, it's usually about one apart or even sometimes on the same frame, but this one's two frames. So uh, there may be some sort of variable lag going on there, but it seems like for the most parts, you know, this one looks like it's on the same frame almost, uh, very close to the same frame. So I'm still gonna go with See, and this one's the exact same frame. So I'm still going to go with that it's it's about half a frame of lag 
from what I can tell from these tests. So I'll just go through a few more of these. And you can see 8 and 9, 9 and 9, so see that one's the same, but then this one is still a little, just slightly behind it because of 7 um, before the 8, but anyway, this one looks like it's the same. See, they're both on 2 even. Well, this one, I guess, is on 1 still, but, but yeah, so this the HDCRT is always just slightly behind. But yeah, really not that much. Actually, look, this one looks identical. <laughs> so, wow, yeah, look at that. Look, it's even the same, the 2 of the 2, 52. So yeah, so really, I mean, this HDCRT, at least in 720p mode, has, like, hardly any lag at all. So, yeah, it's very impressive. Looks like that's the last picture I took. Um, but yeah, very impressive stuff here with this uh, HDCRT. So, a lot of people will complain that HDCRTs have a lot of lag, and so they're not really desirable. Um, and then maybe other brands are, but at least this Sony uh, XBR960 HDCRT. I'll have to test another HDCRT I have as well. But at least this one has very little lag. So I'm going to guess around 8 to 16 milliseconds, uh, somewhere around there, and probably closer to 8 for this TV. So anyway... Thanks for watching, everyone. And, yeah, if you have any questions or if there's anything else that you want me to, um, to test or whatever, then, yeah, just let me know. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks, uh, Lance Leon or Lance Neon for um, the video idea. And, yeah, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, and I forgot to show you. I'm using this uh, N64 controller. This state bit of mod, yeah, it's pretty cool. Still waiting for a firmware update to fix some of the bugs, but yeah. Pretty cool controller though, must say. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.